Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another episode of The Basics. On this episode, I will be showing you how to set up and use DMX in a lighting system. Let's begin! In my previous episode, I explained what is DMX. DMX is a digital communications protocol that is used for professional stage lighting systems. Now I'm going to show you the basics of setting up your own lighting system. DMX cables come in a few different configurations. Uh, the most common is the three pin configuration that you see here, and they also come in five pin configurations. Different lights come in either five pin or three pin or both types of configurations. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the lighting controllers. They, are, they come in a wide variety from large stadium consoles to a small four channel DMX console like you see here. But if you look at the back, you see a three pin DMX out and a five pin DMX out. What this allows you to do is connect to a multitude of different types of lights, whether they're three pin or five pin. And this also has a few other connectors like audio in and the other RJ45s and a few other things that I won't get into right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up in a very simple term a DMX lighting system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the, five, the three pin DMX cable and we're just going to plug it into its corresponding output right there. And then we'll take the other end and we'll just plug it in to our first light. See, it goes right into there. And now, this lighting console is now controlling this lighting fixture. Now, basically, when you go to connect multiple lights together, you just take another DMX cable, you go to the DMX output, that, as you can see, is right here on the lighting fixture. And you just completely connect them all together in a daisy chain until you have all the lighting fixtures that you want to use connected together. And then when you're done with your line, you'll put what is called a DMX terminator at the very end. And this allows you to have a cleaner signal that is easier for the lights to interpret. So and then that just goes right at the end of the line, just like that. And that is the very basics of how to um, set up a lighting system. Now. This is a very simple, like I said, four channel lighting console. So it doesn't have a bunch of programming options or special functions or any features like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, you probably should refer to your user manual on the console or controller you are using on how to program the lights. So on here, let's say I wanted to get this to work. I would just put this on DMX channel one and one through four would correspond with channels one and four, one through four on the lighting fixture itself. But on different, comp on different controllers, let's say you have a, a lighting at a com computer base that is used in a full universe of DMX, or you have a console, what you need to do is you go into your setup menu and patch your lights into the setup menu based on available channels and where you want them grouped. And then you just write it down and, and program the corresponding light to that channel. So now I'm going to talk to you about what is called an opti splitter. What an opti splitter does is it takes the data being sent from your lighting console and it splits it up into multiple directions so that you don't have to connect all your lights together in one very long daisy chain. So let's say that you have six lights hanging above your stage but you also have about four lights down on the ground. What this allows you to do is take the four lights and instead of having to find a way to run it all the way back down onto the stage, is you can take those four lights and run it through an opti splitter. And then you can also take another output from the opti splitter and take it down right to the stage, thus allowing you to have multiple different runs of lights without sacrificing um, on communications or anything else. So what, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you 
what an Opti splitter looks like up close and kind of explain to you how we have it set up at, uh, at my church. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and show you right up there. That is basically a simple Opti splitter. Now what an Opti splitter does as you can see, this green cable is the light that is going from our console and it's going into the Opti Splitter, which is right there. And then the Opti Splitter then takes the signal and splits it. As you can tell, it has one, two, three, four, five different outputs that it can split to. So, what this does it is allows you to take your signal and split it. As in our case, we're splitting it twice. The yellow cable, as you can see right here, is going to our lights that are above the stage. And our blue cable is going to our DMX line that is actually on the stage itself. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you have a specific topic that you would like me to cover in a future episode, please leave that down in the comments below. See you in the next episode.